Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about egg boxing. No, egg death match. Because there can only be one. That's right, there can only be one champion at a time, so it's egg death match. Egg boxing is a thing that I discovered a few months ago. Hat tip to Peter over at Nerd Safari. He posted something about it up on his blog, and I got the idea, and I've been playing this game ever since. Let me tell you what egg boxing or egg death match is all about. It's when you get two eggs, you smash them together, and one egg breaks, and the other one is kind of dead. So let me demonstrate a little example of how it works. So first of all, get two eggs, and you simply just bang them together like this. Now what you don't do is you don't do one egg on the side and one upright. That's kind of cheating because this egg will always win if you do that. No. Vertical. Equal pressure both ways. I don't think it matters whether you hold one still and you smash it in. Either way, you're going to have consistent results with 50-50 chance of one egg winning over the other. And so, that's simply egg boxing, but I'm going to call it an egg death match because like Highlanders, there can only be one. And so what I do is I keep a record. And what I have here is my reigning champion. And he has his own special carton. Yeah. And as you can see here, he has a world champion belt to go along with it. And so what I do is every time he gets a win, I notch it on this little post-it note right here that I have stuck inside the egg carton and give him a victory. Right now he is 6-0. It's pretty awesome. I plan on giving him a name once he gets to 10 and 0, assuming he gets there. I'm saving naming the eggs for the special ones. 10 and 0 is special. Peter mentioned that uh, usually 25 wins is a huge, huge accomplishment. I've never had an egg go that far. Uh, but right now, this is my current champion. If you have some ideas for a good egg champion name, you know, I'd be welcome to that. So. Let's see how he does. Let's see if he can extend his streak from 6 and 0. We'll take his championship belt off and see if he gets to keep his title. Here he is, and let's grab the first egg right here. Ready? Let's see who wins. Ooh, look at that. He is still winning. 7 and 0. We'll throw this in the garbage here. Let's grab another egg. Wipe the hands off. See if he gets up to 8 and 0. Oh! And we have a new champion. So he went down at 7 and 0. This is now our new champion at 1 and 0 because there can only be one. So we'll put him over here. He'll get the new belt. And we'll crack that here and toss the shells away. And let's see if. We can extend his streak. Ooh, 2 0. Oh. I only usually do this up to his mount to, to as many eggs as I plan on eating in one session. So Denise and I will be eating scrambled eggs here shortly, so Ooh! He's now 3 0. Oh. And one more egg, one more bout, one more death match, if you will. 4 0. Oh. So, we might have a new contender in the house. We'll have to see how this works out. That is egg death match. Pick up some eggs for yourself and give it a shot. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, since the making of this video, we finally had our first egg that earned a name. And since it's the first egg of the Ninja Hotel to eclipse the 10 win mark, we appropriately named him the Egg Ninja. That's right. And, you know, I didn't think I was ever going to get there. I had several eggs go 7 0. This one, 13 0. This guy won 13 straight matches, and he's still alive. He still has more wins under his belt, I hope. We'll see. Have fun, guys, with your own egg death match and see how many victories you can get, and maybe you can eclipse 25 win more.